Hello and welcome to Dog Friendly Scotland. My name is Fiona and this is my adventure pal Cora and together we are on a mission to find the best places in the country to take your four-legged friend. And today we are in one of the most iconic places in Scotland and if not the world. South Queensbury and it's home of the three bridges, so the Queensbury Crossing, the Fourth Road Bridge and the most iconic one just behind me, the Fourth Bridge. Both North and South Queensbury get their name from Queen Margaret who in the 11th century established a ferry route across the Fourth to take pilgrims over. And we're kind of going on a bit of a pilgrimage. Well, it's way more tourist day, we're jumping on a boat and we're heading round the Fourth, docking at Inchcombe Island and then we're going to see what there is to do there because dogs are allowed on this boat. So if you're in South Queen City and you want to go exploring the Firth of Forth, the boat docks are set in sailing times and the boat docks from the Hawes Pier. We are on the boat to get to Island. This is Inchcombe. It's about four miles from the bridges and about one mile from Aberdower's coast. It's commonly known as the Iona of the East and this is because firstly, it's beautiful and secondly, there's a big abbey that you're greeted by as soon as you dock. And when we docked, we were greeted by somebody from Historic Scotland who gave us a little rundown. And she also warned us about the seagulls that are nesting at the moment on each side of the island. I've been told to stay away from them because they dive bomb dogs. So the abbey was built in the 12th century and it's one of the best maintained medieval abbeys in the whole of Scotland. And the story is that Alexander I was sailing across the Firth and got shipwrecked here. And he was taken in by a hermit who lived here just by himself. And he was fed oysters and milk from his cow. He wanted to build an abbey to say thank you to God and thank you to the hermit for saving his life. However, sadly he died before he could do this. But his brother, King David, honoured his wishes and founded a priory here. A couple of beaches here as well, which Cora absolutely adores. She loves the sea, which is good because you can take your dog off when you're at beach level. However, when you're walking about the abbey, well-behaved dogs need to be kept on a lead. During both wars, it was used in a network of defence to protect Rosyth Dockyard and the bridges. So as you come in, there's a map that tells you what each building's for. So there's ones up there where all the seagulls are nesting. That would have been from the First World War. There's gun placements from the Second World War around the other side. And it is very cool. It's an awesome place in history. But the fact that the Abbey has survived all this blows my mind. Just a little tidbit for you. There are toilets on the island, so you won't be caught short. So that's the boat just docking to take us back to South Queen's Ferry. It'll be about half an hour. Definitely getting a cup of tea. I think if I'm going to rate this for dog friendly adventures, I'm going to rate it three paws out of five. It has been an absolutely delightful trip. The boat was amazing. However, I think the seagulls attacking the dog and being really worried about where I was walking maybe was a bit scary for me. So it lost a couple paws there. But once the seagulls have stopped nesting and it's warmer weather, maybe not freezing cold, I would be delighted to come back here with the dogs. So there'd definitely be more paws, more paws up for grabs then. 